guys, today I'm going to be going through the process of replacing the belt tensioner and the serpentine belt on a C7 Stingray. I searched the forums and I looked for videos on YouTube, but I didn't have any luck. So hopefully this video will help someone out when the time comes. Here are the tools you'll need for this job. Flat tip screwdriver, 7mm socket with extension, 13mm wrench or ratchet, and a 15mm wrench or ratchet. Since I had to order a new tensioner, I decided to get a new belt as well. See the description of this video for all part numbers and torque values. Let's get started. Before working on the tensioner, I made some room to work. Remove the radiator air outlet ducting held on by four small 7mm bolts located on either side or two in the center. Once I've removed the ducting, I'm going to loosen the clamps located here and down here with the flat tip screwdriver. Disconnect vent hoses by pushing the tab and gently pulling. And remove the intake tubes connecting to the throttle body and air intake. To remove the belt, just relieve tension on the tensioner pulley with a 15 millimeter wrench, breaker bar, or ratchet by pulling or pushing in a clockwise direction until the belt is loose enough to remove. Take the belt completely off. If you don't plan on replacing it, now is a good time to at least inspect it for any fraying or any debris left in the grooves to clean out. There are only two bolts holding the tensioner on, an upper and lower bolt. The upper bolt, located here, is 15 millimeters, and the one located down at the bottom is 13 millimeters. Replacing the tensioner is the same, just make sure to put the bolts back in the right place. Now that the tensioner is back in, it's time to put the belt back on. The simplest way I have found to do this is to route the belt around everything except the AC compressor. There will be plenty of slack in the belt to route it everywhere except that one point. Now that it's all said and done, put the tubing and ducting back and start it up. 